The Bowles School Florida is internationally recognized for excellence in academics, arts, athletics and activities. Our World Languages Department, chaired by Moyer Marx, is a leading exponent of online technology and recently opened its doors to delegates from other institutions. Schools and universities around the world also signed up to participate in the online activities. We'll have a look at how the delegates swiftly created tiered, differentiated online tasks or courses for a range of students to complete and hand in from their online devices. We'll see how they could create a worksheet requiring practical performances not normally easy to assess. And finally, how to use automatic correcting and grading, allowing maximum time for motivating the students and guiding them to the next task. creating an exercise in which uh, students can answer verbally, they can answer the questions that I uh, have recorded. So I recorded the question and, and there is a gap in uh, which the students can um, record their answer and um, it will be uh, graded by me later. Um, in here at the top there's another exercise in which they can label uh, each person in the picture and uh, then I'll be able to uh, send it to the students. Um, so it has a picture, it has audio and it has a verbal response. Very uh, complete and interactive. Using this method, thanks to the excellent facilities and support provided by the Bowles School, delegates quickly created a range of online worksheets containing speaking, listening, reading and writing exercises. Delegates of Bowles were then able to interact with their online colleagues using the synchronous and asynchronous features of the Language Lab. So this is how you would talk to an individual student okay, if, you pr if you were to press call okay. and we've gone through how you can do paired as well. Or you can click up here and you can do send message. So now we've got a sort of chat interface. This is a great way to interact with the student yeah. when everyone's trying to be quiet and listening to the audio and speaking into it without disrupting the entire class. <laughs> Okay, now another thing we can do no, is just, how do you send it? just hit, just hit enter. Yeah. Kind of like an IM. Exactly. Um, so we can also do a video call. So let's say that you were teaching a student who wanted extra help, maybe outside of class, and you wanted to give them a bit of extra help, or maybe they you know, they have to be in a different country for a couple of weeks, but they still want to participate. So we could go to video call, as long as you both have a. Your student isn't paying attention in class, so you might want to make a note of that in your grade. So well, that's right. Uh, so Elise um, has, a, she's got, line. because she's uh, online, she's got a... She's got a webcam, so you, as a teacher of her, you can take control of her school shape interface, which is why you can now see her uh, webcam. So you can close that, and if she replies, it will pop up automatically. So I love it. Here's, here's what I would have liked to keep on. That you set it to where while you're giving individual instructions, the kids are seeing a blank screen. That's exactly it. The first right. screen. And so that while you're giving it, so that they only see their work when you're ready for them to start. Exactly. It's, Again, it's, we an need option, it's an option. It's an option when you've got all the kids on.
When setting work, teachers can be very precise about recipients of tasks or courses. When the set button is clicked, they choose a group. This could be simply the name of the teaching group, such as Group 4A, or defined by level, such as Advanced or Beginners. There may be students requiring practice on a specific skill, such as listening, or ones wanting to submit tasks in specific areas, such as drama. Common reasons for creating specific groups is when students are absent because of illness or bad weather. There are also options for deciding who will assess the work, very useful if collaborating with colleagues in other institutions, specifying the start and deadline dates, and allowing students to exchange messages with each other about the task. The language teachers at the Bowl School meeting were able to set work for their own students and for those taking part in the online workshop. Here are some examples of tasks handed in to Bowles delegates from around the world. Submitted to Duval County Public Schools by Hurstbeer Point School, a Spanish listening and speaking exercise about school, and a writing exercise on the Spanish subjunctive. To Bowles from Cardiff School of Education, a speaking and writing exercise about a French tourist office. From Anadolu University in Turkey, an English grammar exercise on the use of apostrophes. From Groton School, a listening, speaking and reading exercise on Mandarin pronunciation. To North Florida University from St Mary's Grammar, a Spanish listening and speaking exercise entitled Madrid 2020. To the Episcopal School of Jacksonville from Highcliffe School, a Spanish listening and speaking exercise on the 2012 London Olympics. To St John's Day School from the Bridge Academy and the Open University, a listening, writing and speaking exercise based on an asterisk video clip. There was also an excellent video submission from Valencia College on the subject of my hometown in American Sign Language. This is how to create a worksheet which is automatically corrected and graded. From the home page, select a new blank worksheet. First, add some stimuli such as pictures, audio or video. Choose a suitable text and copy it. Choose an exercise type from the response list on the right. Take a gap fill exercise for example. This will create a typical close exercise for English learners practicing spelling or word recognition. The key words or phrases are then selected. The student answer view shows how the student will see and fill in the worksheet. The teacher marking view shows how the worksheet will look when automatically graded.